The abundance you desire to experience must first be an experience in your mind. That is a quote from Ernest Holmes. This is Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are a Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love, light and love. I have to change up my intro. It's been getting a little dull. <laughs> I am coming out of Yala Monzant's book, Acts of Faith. This is a number one New York Times bestseller. Me and Miss Monzant share birthdays, September 13th. I love this book, um, Daily Inspirations. Open your mind heart and soul to accept that it is the creator's will for you to have plenty how else can the creative force glorify itself if you are expressing lack how can you express faith and love today continuously affirm my income exceeds my algo as you affirm, know that you are receiving a substantial increase in your income. It will exceed your greatest expectations. It will exceed all of your financial commitments. You have plenty to spare. New doors opportunities are opening to you. New ideals are pouring forth. As you open your mind to accept your glorious new good, you find new ways to express faith and love. Abundance may be a new experience for you, but if you open your mind, you will come to understand that the creative source finds great pleasure in giving you plenty. I am an abundant being, experiencing the gift of plenty. If you are a journaler and you journal, check this out. Reflection, what new opportunities have you attracted by affirming your abundance? Powerful. So, this is a good thing to say. My income exceeds my outgo. Were you like me and are you like I used to be? Where you worry about money, like over and over. It is a ruminating thought in your mind. Like a big part of the day, you're worried about money. And it is a mindset. I, I remember seeing people like younger than me or in the same age range. I knew they made 80000 100000 This was 20 years ago. And I would be stuck in that $40,000 bracket for years wondering how to make more money and mismanaging the money that I did make. I feel a big part of abundance is being responsible with the income you do have. Uh, also abundance is creating more than one stream of income. Well, if you want to just do one income, make sure it's a nice amount that you can pay your bills, have a savings, and, you know, be able to enjoy yourself. Check to check is so stressful. Um, again, I remember times where I didn't even have money for an emergency, a flat tire, um, a medical bill that may be more than you anticipated, just whatever an emergency could look like. Um, and you know, it's going to be something. What they say, Murphy's Law. It's always something. But abundance is a mindset. And once I stopped worrying about money, the money came. I always tell this story about being a therapist part-time. I probably had four clients a week. I didn't, I didn't do that to get to make money. I didn't get into that field. But when I first got into my field, it was hard to find, I was having some challenges, finding a job that paid, you know, where I could pay my bills. So I ended up going into HR for two years and doing the therapy part-time. That's why I've been doing this part-time job for four years because I did it initially to maintain 
my social work experience. So I would have like three, four clients a week. And of course, when it, when it was time to get paid, it wouldn't be much. And COVID hit 2020. Like this, this week coming up, you know, I have 11 clients, which is kind of a lot for part-time considering I have another job. But I'm just showing you how if you stay the course, life is going to get better for you. Now, you have to do the work, too. Sometimes we pray, God, please, let me win the lottery. <laughs> or I want a million dollars. I want a million dollars. Just saying that, that's not going to quite cut it. You have to embody that. You have to believe it. And sometimes you really have to do the work. If you ever need inspiration, check out Steve Harvey. Check out Tyler Perry. Um, Steve Harvey has a lot of stories of redemption, of being homeless, of sleeping in a hotel, of having a $22 million tax bill that he wasn't aware of because his accountant passed away and they were like cashing in the checks he wrote out to pay his taxes for seven years. He got out of it. Um, same with Tyler Perry, homeless. So when I try to tell people sometimes about certain people's story, they want to judge them. Oh, I don't like Tyler Perry. He's not funny. I'm not telling people to listen to Tyler Perry to judge. But if you want to know how to become abundant and have abundance, follow these type of people that came from the bottom and now I'm here. I love studying people. I don't care, you know, about them being funny. I think the same thing about Kevin Hart. His story is phenomenal. A guy from Philly and now Kevin Hart is in so many movies. He's on TV. He's uh, branding himself in a direction that's remarkable. If you want to be successful, you study successful people and emulate what they're doing. It doesn't have to be celebrities. It could be people you know and if you know they're good with money, if you could tell they're investors, if you could tell they're disciplined, ask them their secret. That's one thing about me, you all. I don't have no trouble asking for help or advice. Like, I'll be like, hey, I noticed that you're whatever. And, and I'll say, what's your secret? Trust me, they are beyond happy to tell you. Someone told me something yesterday, and I was like, me? They were like, you always have a positive outlook. You seem like you have joy. That really touched my heart because you don't know how you come off to somebody else. And the joy that I have, the positive outlook that I have is deliberate. It's intentional. Every day I'm trying to read something positive. I'm writing down my intentions for the week. Um, every day I'm trying to do something to tap in. I'm praying, I'm journaling, I'm doing something, meditating. So it's intentional to have this mindset. Some people, it seems like it comes natural. And I'm, a, I'm naturally a positive person. That's me. But, you know, as well as I could be negative, negative, positive, I could be negative. You know, I battle. It's a battle of the mind. Uh, much better now than I used to be. I used to be a big time warrior and gloom and doom at times. Like, oh, that's not going to work. Or oh, I knew that was going to happen. You know, life taught me to be grateful. Gratitude is one of the biggest things that helped me uh, being, having my health affected, change my outlook on life. Um, not being connected to material things changed my outlook on life. Now, I'm not saying I don't like nice stuff. I do. But I learned to be happy in a studio apartment. And I was very unhappy in my own house. So, you see, it's not where you live. It's who you are. You know, you could be in a mansion and be miserable. You could be in a small, quaint, one-bedroom apartment. And have the greatest joy ever. It's not about that. So I think people connect happiness to a thing. But I'm getting off my subject, which is abundance. If you want to be uh, abundant or you want to live abundantly, 
start taking care of the salary or income you're earning. Treat it with respect. Stop doing things for money only. Do stuff for the joy of it. The money will come. Um, I would also say get two streams of income if you can. That's what kind of helped me a lot. Um, and I, yeah, yeah, it's bittersweet because sometimes I could overwork too. So try to keep a balance. Don't burn yourself out. But the extra income, it will help. Especially if it's not like, I'm not talking like a couple of hundred dollars. I'm talking, you know, per month, it needs to be $500,000 extra per month or more if you can. I know that sounds like a lot, but you'll be shocked. If you do something you love, watch how quick that money comes. If you could do hair on the side, some people do braids. They make a lot of money if you could do nails on the side if you could bake real good if you could cook real good don't sleep on uber and lyft I, um i see i'm just kind of concerned right now with crime and stuff that i wouldn't do i me personally i'm not doing lyft or uber no more i did that years ago but there's too much happening and if i did do it i kind of stay out this way i just can't risk i'm sorry i just can't risk this type of stuff no more mm -mm. But um, do the food, you know, Uber Eats. You could do that or DoorDash or Instacart. Every time I order groceries or have a DoorDash delivery, every, anybody that's delivered most of my stuff, I'm going 90. I'm going up in the 90s. 90 some percent of them are quite happy. So I think they're doing good with that. There's a lot of ways you can make money. A lot of remote jobs now, part-time, customer service, holidays are coming. They need workers because people don't want to work. So you got the edge. Abundance is a mindset. But it's not only money. You can be abundantly blessed in health. You got to have your health. Still, I think I listen to people. I think we have it twisted. If your health is out of line, you if you have trouble with your liver or some major organ, if your leg doesn't work properly, if you're, you know, if you can't use certain parts of your body, what good is all that money? Focus on your health, your mental health and your physical health first. Focus on that and then the money because you want to be able to enjoy it. Abundant living is health and wealth. It's a combination. All right, enough of my talking. Have a beautiful day. Take care of yourself and take care of the money you have now. Take care of your health now and watch things improve. Take care of your mind, most importantly. Bye-bye.